Okay, Rakshat, you had asked this question where uh, we have to find the area of a parallelogram given the two diagonals. Here we have uh, what we did in the concept class where we are given the vector OA which we label A bar and the vector OB which we label B bar but they are forming the adjacent sides. And it's easy to see that the area of the parallelogram is uh, base times height, base is OA, the height is uh, the uh, length of the line BD but BD is B sine theta and so we get A times B sin, times sine theta which is simply A cross B. But this is not the problem we were asked. Yeah? We were asked to uh, make A bar and B bar the diagonals. Yeah? So suppose we have the di uh, vectors A bar and B bar. We can form the parallelogram in this manner with uh, the, the two vectors. Yeah? And remember that the parallelogram has diagonals that bisect each other. So O here is the midpoint of SQ as well as the midpoint of PR. So if we are talking about the um, the parallelogram, now the area, the parallelogram is divided into two equal triangles by each of its diagonals. So SQ divides the parallelogram into two equal triangles, uh, QRS and PQS. So I can say the area of the uh, parallelogram PQRS is twice the area of the triangle QRS. The area of a triangle is of course half base into height. The base of the triangle QRS is SQ and the height is this altitude RT. I can see from the uh, triangle OTR that RT is simply OR sine theta. So we get SQ into OR sine theta but I can see that OR is half of B and so I get A times half of B sine theta which is half of A cross B.